overall view of the receivers? Overall re review of the receivers, uh, we're getting better every day. It's exciting to watch the guys uh, fly around, uh, the want to, to to improve every single day uh, from top down, uh, from the K Warners, uh, teaching the young guys, being the leader of our group, Malik, Phil. Uh, those guys have really come in and set the example. And um, we're just getting better every single day. It was a good day today. What can you say about RJ? RJ, just since the spring has really come on, and uh, it's showing up right now. He's a hard worker. He's a dependable guy. Um, you know, he, he just keeps growing every single day. And, and, and I want to just continue to coach him and see how far we can go. But um, he's been a joy to coach. Real cerebral kid, uh, tough kid. Um, and I want to continue to see how far he can go. Happy about him. You were pretty excited about what you saw from, from Malik in the spring. How has he kind of continued to evolve and get better? Well, just like I said earlier, the want to, right? The want to to come in and meet with me in one-on-one -on -one sessions and, and, and things like that. But he's just getting better on the little details, the finer details. Understands the offense, understands the pitchers. Now let's really crisp up and, and tighten up your technique. And so those are the things we're working with him on a day-to-day -day basis, or just uh, fine-tuning his skill level. I would say the latter probably expand, and every day, you know, like like you see, guys are actually competing for bigger roles, right? Every last one of them, you know, whether it's uh, two receivers, three receivers, four receivers, whatever the role is, uh, they're competing for different roles, and whether you're just catching screens or uh, getting them. Uh, <laughs> you know, deep balls or whatever it may be, we're just competing every single day. Lots of rotation last year, obviously this being your first year. You kind of envision that same thing when uh, camp breaks? The best players play, obviously, uh, but play the most, right? And if you can play and you can contribute, you're going to have an opportunity to come out here and play. If you're not one of those guys, uh, you know, obviously the latter. We kind of know who's up here. Who are some of the younger guys who stood out to you? RJ's still a young guy, right? RJ's a young guy. He's developing, uh, I think, XL, uh, Xavier Lloyd. He's had a productive camp as well. Uh, a guy by the name of Jaden Jackson, who's right now developing and learning right now in our offense. Um, uh, you know, those are the guys right now, the younger guys who've come in right now and, and competing right now. Where has Phillip Brooks made the, mo the most growth in his game? Say that one more time. Where has Phillip Brooks made the most growth in his game? Technique. Technique, man. He, he's been really impressive over the last seven practices. Really impressive. Um, uh, and, and I would say just his technique and, you know, his every day in the meeting, you know, if you guys were in there, he's in there taking notes, asking great questions. And he comes in and not only takes the notes, but he does it on the practice field as well. And it's just, just, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> no, just his willing, willingness to, to develop as a player every uh, single day. Deuce was your leading receiver as far as catches last year out of the backfield, but does that does that help create more opportunities, the fact that he's such a weapon out of the backfield and stuff? Absolutely. That, that's that's a sign of a good coach. Get the ball to 22, right? Who <laughs> stood out in the uh, passing game other than Deuce? I think all of them have played a role over the last seven days, uh, whether it was uh, Frias, Anthony, um, and, and, and some of those other guys, but those uh, – I know you're trying to get it for probably a depth deal, but um, no, all of them have played a role as far as catching the ball um, uh, and going forward. So. Now that you've kind of been here, Coach, and, and you've kind of seen everybody back fully healthy here in fall camp, what have your impressions have been about the overall roster as a whole? First and foremost, overall roster. First thing I would say is our culture, right? You, you other places, uh, different schools, you come in here, man, this culture is set, right? These guys are early. Um, they're prepared when they come into your meetings. They're eager to learn. Our locker room is, is second to none. That's the first thing I would say about the culture. These guys care about each other, their family. Um, you don't always get that everywhere you go. It, it sounds good, but it, it's not like that everywhere you go. And so it's a real brotherhood. It's a real family amongst the players and the coaches. And then you can see how hard our guys work for each other and, and the coaches. So I would just say that part, uh, which is a very important piece. Running back leading catches the past two years. Is it point of emphasis for you to have wide receivers more involved in the game? Absolutely. That's that's a, that's our role, right? That's a big part of what we do. Uh, we're competitive. Uh, we want the ball. If you don't, really, I mean.
you can play receiver. But we're going to be a big part of catching the balls. Uh, we're going to be a big part of uh, run blocking. We're going to be a big part of the offense in general.